Yo, 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 it's your boy Fresh Cuts. Got the designer hats, all authentic. I'm going to show you guys the receipts, the tags, everything I got to show you. And then we just going to get right into the materials, the styling of the hats. Um, this is pretty much like a versus. Um, I never seen anybody have a designer collection of hats and y'all don't care about that anyway. So <laughs> start off with this Fendi woman's hat. I did this uh, a review of this on my page already. It was, uh, I believe, $430. Um, not sure. I don't have the tag on me, but I do have the shopping bag back there. You know, it's a woman's hat, but you really can't tell. It's just had the lower brim, got the red, you know, and on the inside, it's pretty much normal. Uh, got the Fendi. Y'all see that? Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't keep it inside the dust bag. Uh, I'll be having it laying around and stuff. You already see how wrinkled it is. Got the shopping bag. Got this from King of Prussia for all my people out in King of Prussia. Y'all know what that's about. Got the Fendi ribbons. I love this bag so much, man. I love this bag. And it's like a nice wax looking like leather inside of it. It's such a, so nice. I still haven't opened the envelope, but if you guys see my uh, video from before, I told you guys the exact amount. I'm not going to open this envelope. It's not that deep. It's for real. All right, so that's the Fendi. Um, I already showed you guys the dust bag. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure this is the official dust bag that it came with. Um, for you guys that don't know, um, a lot of designer stores, they have different dust bags for belts shoes whatever it doesn't necessarily mean that it's fake you know some of the stores run out of duff's bags and they just you know it's their job to uh to put it in a duff's bag no matter what it is there's no particular kind so anyway got the burberry today i got this from sax fifth y'all see the shopping bags in the back that's two of them if you you know one two all right cool um I always wanted a Burberry hat. Always did. This is a size large. I like these little uh, silver. Let me get a little close up on that. Very nice to detail. Um, this is a large, but it actually fits like a small. So I guess if you're ordering this, uh, please get a large. Um, if you have a regular size head, I'm guessing, I'm guessing, I don't know. It actually has the price right here. See that? Let me focus one more time for you guys. Anyway, that's $390. That's the tag. And it got that little uh, Burberry right there. So anyway, yeah, I, I love this hat. I absolutely love this hat. I love the the fit on this. It's really nice. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a unisex hat. So um, yeah, and I have the receipt right here. I got it from Saks Fifth. Shout out to Saks Fifth on Simwood Bala, PA. Um, I bought something else, so I'm just going to show you guys Saks Fifth, and then I'm going to show... Oh, perfect. So, let me pull this back. Burberry 350. Oh, 350. 350. But it said 390 right here. I don't know. Hey, <laughs> Hey, if it's 350, it's 350, man. Shout out to you, uh, Ryan. Shout out to you, Ryan. I just got away with $40. I just hit a lick. You know what I'm saying? I'm lit right now. Um, unfortunately, it didn't come with a dust bag at Saks Fifth Avenue. And if you go to the actual Burberry store, they might have it for you. Um, but yeah, I have a Gucci duffel bag. Don't kill me, you guys. I, I don't feel like looking inside the bag and actually looking for, uh, 
old receipts. I do have a picture of me actually buying this from Gucci store. Um, if you think this is fake or whatever, but I mean, I got receipts for all my hats, just not this one. Um, it's somewhere. I just don't feel like looking for it. This is the actual uh, paper bag. It came with a brown uh, Gucci bag, too. I know the inside is looking crazy, looking dirty, looking filthy. Had these hats lying around, remind you. Um, Gucci made in Italy. Got the Gucci. Look at that. Make sure if you're buying a Gucci that it's got... These red lines are just like, they're very um, distinctive. You know, it's kind of like this cream colorway. You know the colorway Gucci be doing. Thing I do need to, I haven't worn this hat in so long, I do need to clean it. But yeah, it's a classic. I believe this was, this is a size, hold on. I guess all of them are the same size. It's unisex. But, um, yeah, I believe this was 390 if I'm not mistaken. 400 390 Oh, yeah, 395 I'm pretty sure. Because you know Gucci does that uh, $5 at the end. I don't know why, but, yeah, I think that was 395 something like that. Um, and, of course, the Dior hat. Now, I did not know this Dior hat was a large. This is very, very big on my head. Pause. Um, check that out, guys. It's like a it's like a nice little navy blue edition. It looks brighter on the camera, but it's actually, uh, yeah. I like this part, too. The metal cap for the Christian Dior logo. And then you got this midnight purple kind of uh, colorway on the strap. This is a large. Um, this hat is pretty dirty, but you can see the Dior imprint on the inside. Um, no pin in the middle. So if you probably see that, it's probably fake. You have a Dior right here and a Dior right here on the side as well. This is a large, like I said, the tag should look something similar to this all right yep and then i got the tags and stuff for that this was 650 dollars yeah check this out i think this is where the pins are for the strap if it breaks off or whatever six hundred dollar head it better come with some pins man I'm guessing that's what's in here. Um, yep. And then I bought something else from Saks Fifth. So I'm just going to show you guys the... Is this it? Yeah. Oh, shout out to uh, Ryan Williams again. Of uh, Saks Fifth. My man. Um, 650 men's warm wear i don't know why they said that but yeah it's definitely 650 so i showed you guys the authentication now it's time to review it so what you guys think I'm, i think me personally um i think the gucci is very very classy very very classy and i feel like it's very um no matter where you go, I remember I was wearing this in Delaware. Somebody pointed it out like, oh, he's wearing a Gucci hat. And it, it made me seem like a celebrity or something. It's, it's something about this hat that no other hat on this table really got. It got like real star power and it makes people be like, who is this guy? You know what I'm saying? Um, the Burberry, I feel like is very, um, very simple but very eye-catching as well, you know, um, especially with this classic plaid colorway um, with the infrared lines. And then you got the, especially when you have your hat to the back um, and then you have these sparkle, not sparkle, uh, shiny sterling silver finish on the buttons. I don't know. It's just something about this hat that's very regular, but very like, fashionable i don't know 
And then you got the Fendi hat, which looks crazy right now because I haven't put the paper inside of it. But, you know, um, this brown, this tobacco brown colorway is very, um, very different. Very different from the rest of these hats. It's very smooth and it just sets the tone. It gives you a different type of look. Like when I see the Gucci hats, I think of somebody with money. When I see the Fendi hat, I think of somebody with a little bit more, um, I don't really know what to say. I don't know how to really say it. It's like you, you're very fashionable, but you're very like bougie too. You know what I'm saying? It's like you know how to dress, but you're very bougie too. You know what I mean? Okay, so Dior reminds me of that one kid in school that likes to buy expensive shit and don't really know how to dress, don't really know what to wear with it, you know? Um, Dior is very hot right now. I know it's a hot thing. And, yo, look at the leather on this. I forgot to mention the leather. The leather is beautiful on this. As far as materials go out of all of these hats, I would have to say this one and then the Burberry, then the Gucci, and then the Fendi. The Fendi is very, like, regular. Um, but this Dior hat, $650. It does have a little bit more. Even the leather right here is pretty soft, and the leather on the strap, and it's, like, real silver. You know, the, the materials on this hat is, is pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to overhype it. I'm not going to be like, it's worth 650 We all know that's a lie. So let's just stop that right now. Um, but yeah, as far as, um, as far as materials go and quality, I would have to say Dior, um, especially with a price like that, you, you better get the best of your buck, you know? Um, but Dior just give me the vibe of like a rich white kid going to school, trying to be you know, cool in front of all the other kids, you know? That's what it gives me a vibe of. And the Gucci is very, like, in the middle. It's, like, fashionable. It's, like, I don't know, man. It's, like, very rich, very fashionable, very eye-catching. If you want to go low-key out of all these hats, definitely get the Burberry. It's nice, low-key, clean, and calm. Um, As far as, like, the Fendi is more so of the one thing about the Fendi is that you have to have something else that's Fendi. I also have a Fendi shirt that goes with the hat, but if you don't have the shoes, if you don't have the hat, if you don't have at least a scarf, maybe, well, you can't wear a scarf with this, but you need something else with it. As, as far as like Gucci is concerned, I have a Gucci uh, shirt, but you don't necessarily have to wear Gucci with this 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 stands out by itself i feel like with dior is kind of like the same with fendi it's like you definitely need something else that's uh dior to wear with this yo this this hat looks so big on the camera pause eh, anyway so i'm gonna have to say as far as like as far as versatility versatile i'm gonna have to go with the gucci I'm going to have to go with the Gucci. This is my favorite hat of all time, you know. Um, I don't like the black one, so I don't think I'm going to get that. I had a chance to buy it when I was out in New York. Um, I drove all the way to New York just to find this hat, and they didn't have it. I wound up finding this hat in King of Prussia, Neiman Marcus. It was a, a Gucci section that they uh, recently just took out. But um, I found it in the women's department. But it's a unisex. Um as I'm gonna have to say Burberry the the next one. This this hat is very clean, guys. The stitching, I I love the embroidery on it. Very simple, very just clean, man. I don't know what it is, man. I love the way it fits on my head. Um, I like the buttons right here. It just looks like it belongs on a king. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of crazy, guys, but that's how I feel about it. 
Um, as far as Dior is very, very fashionable. Um, honestly, this is probably the best hat out of the four. But as far as the sizing goes, it's very weird. I like wearing it from the back, you know. Um, the sizing is pretty weird. So if you get this, if you have an average shape head, I would get at least a medium. Um, maybe even a small because this is pretty big. Um, the Fendi, even though this is a woman's hat, I, I wanted to get the yellow one. If you watch my Fendi hat from before, you'll know that I wanted the Fendi with the yellow brim. That was the one for the men, I believe. Um, it looks way better than this one, but this one is still, still nice. I still love this hat regardless. Like, this is still a very good hat. Um, it's something about Fendi that... I don't know. It makes it makes you stick out more. It makes you stick out more. I feel like even though Gucci gives you an eye dropping view, I feel like you're gonna pull a different type of female. If you if you're single out there, you know, just messing around with females, you're gonna pull a different type of female. But um I don't know. Burberry It's low key. All right, so let me give like one word to describe all of them. Bougie, <laughs> calm. Uh, I was gonna call this flashy, but I'm gonna take it back and I'm gonna say fashionable and I'm gonna say flashy. This is the flashiest one. There's no reason why somebody will buy this other than just to say they have it. Um, regardless, I love all these hats. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. I did a 17-minute video. God damn, I always go overboard with this stuff. But um, it's for all my fashion heads. I've got more gun videos coming up. Um, got more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. I got so much flavor for you guys. Um yeah and we gonna keep this thing going just like that um orange leather seats inside the hyundai elantra is gonna come up soon i got so much to show you guys man like don't even trip man it's your boy fresh cuts i'm out